Hi, Nidia. Hi. Hi, Freddy. Hi, Freddy. How are you? Freddy, can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Hi, Freddy. How are you? I'm fine and I'm ready to learn to something new. All right. Very good. All right. How are you, Nidia? Everything okay? Yes, thank you. Everything okay. Excellent. All right. Very good. I hope you had a good weekend. All right. So I'm very glad you're here again. This is the third week. So we have, we're halfway. Okay. So we have three this week and the next week and we're done. Okay. With TOEFL 2. And then you guys have to enroll or you will have to enroll. All right. Very good. Hi, Julia. Hi. Hello. How are you? Fine, thanks. Excellent. All right, so we're just beginning, Julia, and I was just asking your classmates how they have been and everything, and just reminding you guys that this is the third week. So this third week, we're talking about, or we're studying section three, which is the speaking, all right? So speaking is about speaking, and it's your turn to speak, all right? So this is what we're going to, this is how we're going to be working about it. Okay, so I didn't send anything today to you because I need to do the work with you guys in class. So today, or for this section, most likely we're not going to go on the breakout rooms. We're going to work together, okay? Usually we have no more than 10 students, between 8 and 10 students, so we have enough time and enough, and enough questions to work with, okay? Okay. I don't know if you were able to watch section three already or you haven't. Only the first video. Only the first video. All right, Nidia, what about you? Were you able to watch a little bit or not really? No, no. no that's okay. That's okay. Julia, Sahai, Saida, and Robert, what about you guys? Have you been able to watch section three already or not really? Yes, I watched, but All right. not all. Okay, that's okay. Okay, so section three, guys, is about speaking and it's divided this way. It's divided, I mean, we always have four type of questions, but we divide, I mean, the TOEFL test divides it this way, question three and question five. So that means that today we're going to study question three and tomorrow question five. Wednesday and Thursday is going to, they divide it as question four and question six, okay? So Wednesday we're going to study sec, uh, question four, and Thursday, we're going to study question six, okay? It's the same. I don't know why they divide it up, but it's, it's their way, okay? They have their reasons, I guess. So we, what matters is that I'm going to walk you through the type of questions and what you're supposed to be doing, okay, on each question. So for this uh, first question that we have to study today is the integrated question three. That's how it's called, integrated question three. You, this is how it's going to be, uh, this is how it's going to work. We're going to read together, well, not really together, but we're going to be together reading it, and you are going to be given 45 seconds to read a short passage, okay? And everything is timed here, and it is timed because this is how it works, okay? It's not because I want to make you suffer. This is how it's structured. So we are going to have 45 seconds to read the passage, Right after the passage, you will listen to a very short conversation, maybe a minute, a little bit more than a minute, but not as the long ones as we were going to last week, okay? After that, you're going to have 30 seconds to prepare your answer, okay? And then you're going to have one minute or 60 seconds to give me your response, okay? And that's why we're not going to go into groups because the idea here is I have enough questions, have enough questions. for everyone, all right? So, uh, for example, I'm going to be giving Nidia the first question, all right? Or Nidia's going to choose a number, and I'm, I'm going to give her the number she chooses, okay? So she's going to read for 45 seconds, then you're going to have a buzzer going off. So that means that you cannot read anymore, all right? So if you are like a slow reader, you need to improve your reading, okay? Because they give you only 45 seconds. When the 45 seconds are up, I'll give you 30 more seconds to prepare your response. And after that, you will have 60 seconds to give me your response, okay? Now, 
what are you gonna give me? I, like, what are you gonna talk to me about? It's not about what you want, it's about what is being read and what is being heard. That's why it's called integrated question because you do listening, you do reading, and based on the reading and the listening, you give your speaking or your response. Okay, do you follow me? Yeah, guys, do you follow me in a way? Yes? Yes. All right, thank you. So here we have, this is like the same information that you're going to be uh, watching or looking on the platform. And we have integrated question three. That's what's the, this is not a fancy name. It's just a name that I don't give it. They give it. All right. So it's made, uh, made up of, okay. These questions are made up on like these four steps, the reading passage, the listening regarding the reading. All right. So they kind of like, eh, sit, uh, how do you say that? It's like they, they give you more information about what is being read. All right. Then the prep time that I'm going to be giving you some time. And then the re oops, response, response time. Okay. That's how the, what's, that's the time that you're going to have to give it to me. Okay. Then we're going to have, as I said, the timing of integrated question, 45 seconds to read. Then how long it takes for the listening, all right, that, that, that doesn't depend on you or it doesn't depend on me, it's the, the listening that I'm gonna play for you. And that's where you have to listen to the question. And then you have 30 seconds to prepare and 60 seconds to give me your response. Now, here, I just wanna show you something here from the platform because it's not here. I'm gonna just, um, here. All right, so here, I'm just gonna share my audio with you. Welcome to the speaking section. Can you listen? We'll now go over speaking yes. question three and five. Introduction, question structure, approach tips, score scored. And we'll give you 30 seconds to prepare, 60 seconds to speak. Here's generally what the question will look like and how they're structured. In question three, you will read a passage about a campus-related topic. Then you will listen to a response to that topic. Then you will have 30 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak your answer. All right, so here, this is what I want you to look at. This is how the question is gonna be like, like all right? This is how it's going to look like. Here you have the passage, which you notice is not a very long passage, not like the longer ones that we read before or that you have seen before. It's a small passage. And then based on that passage, someone talks about the same, not the same information, but related information. Okay. And right after that, they give you the question. So based on that question, you have to give, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to stop sharing this. And I'm gonna show you the other thing here. Based on that, you have to give your answer. Now, if you're wondering, yeah, but what am I gonna be talking about for one minute? And you're being timed, okay? So you have to read, listen, based on those two pieces of information, you're required to state his or her opinion and explain the reasons why she or he gave those reasons or those opinions. But that that's like an example that will, of course will depend on the type of uh, listening the type of reading and the type of question you're going to you're going to be listening to okay so i'm just going to show you this one here here i have the timers so this is you're going to listen to this like this can you listen it's not clicking. No, yes. yeah all right okay so that's yes. to put pressure on you a little bit all right, just to have fun a little bit, all right? So the first one is 45 seconds. So that's how long, for example, if I said, okay, Freddie, ready? So Freddie's, everybody, I'm Freddie, you guys are gonna have, you're gonna see the reading passage and everybody's reading, but the one that is on the spot is Freddie, okay? So when the buzzer stops, you stop reading Freddie, okay, for example. Then I click on the second buzzer, and this one is 30 seconds. So 30 seconds ready, I'll give you 30 seconds so you can write any information that you remember from the lecture, from the listening, then you take notes quickly. 
And then 30 seconds are up and then I'll click on the third buzzer, which is a minute. Yeah. All right. Okay. And then you talk for a minute. All right. Now, why do I want everybody to listen? It's because we need to learn from everybody. Okay. I have five questions and usually we're 10 in class. Okay. So most likely, for example, Freddy and Julia are going to have the same question, but Freddy might say something different, of course, than Julia. Or he might, like, you know, like we're in two different minds, all right? So it's like, we're not going to, don't worry about, oh, but he's going to say the same thing I said, all right? And that's not going to happen, all right? Plus, by the time you have to read it, you will probably have forgotten what Freddie said anyway, all right? That's how we're going to see it as a game, okay? It's not nothing, you know, that it's just preparing you. Now, on the real, uh, on the platform, the idea is this. You have two questions to practice, but you're not gonna do it on the platform. You're gonna, you're gonna read it on the platform, you're gonna listen on the platform, and you have to follow the same steps. 45 seconds, I'm not gonna be with you doing the platform, but you have to be sincere, all right? And you have to be honest. You will have 45 seconds to read, 30 seconds to, uh, to prepare, and one minute to record your answer on the platform, not here. On the platform, you will record your answer on vocaroo.com and you're gonna send me the link, all right, when you are ready. So when you send me the link, I will listen to Nidia's. She's probably gonna send it, for example, tomorrow. I'm gonna listen, you have to, everybody has to send everything by Friday anyway. All right, so I'm gonna be listening, I'm gonna be taking notes and I'm gonna be saying, oh, okay, so we're checking for pronunciation, we're checking for grammar, coherence, uh, you name it. I mean, we're just checking your speaking, all right? But that's the platform. So nothing, type anything as an answer on the platform. Everything is being recorded and you send it to me on the WhatsApp group, yes? On vocaroo.com. If you read, once you read the instructions on the platform, that's where it says vocaroo.com, so don't worry about it, okay? Just open it up and then you record it and there is gonna appear a link and that link you're gonna send it to me, all right? But that's for the platform. Right now you're not gonna send anything. We're here, live action, okay? Yeah? All right, so here, if I'll go, I'll keep on showing you here. No, oh, that's not it. Okay, so this one, don't read it. This one is the first reading. You will have 45 seconds. You see, I'm not making this up. It's already on the test, okay? 45 seconds to read. You will read that. Then it says, now listen to two students as they, are di as they discuss the quote based on the reading and they talk for a minute. After that, we're gonna stop, the, the listening stop. As the woman expresses her opinion of what the president was, uh, was quoted to have said to the reporter. State her opinion and explain the reasons she gives for holding that opinion, all right? So what are you gonna talk to me about? About what it says there. Tell me her opinion. Tell me what her ex opinions were and explain the reason why she's, uh, she gives for holding that opinion, for believing on that, all right? So you have to be paying attention. That's what, it, that's what I'm saying, okay? Yeah? Do you have any questions? No? No questions? How many are we in class? Two, four, six, seven, plus me. All right. So, so we have five questions. Okay, perfect. Let's see. Hi, Astrid. Okay, so we are going to go back here. So uh, we're going to start, okay? So I don't, want, I don't know if someone wants to volunteer to be the first one up or I choose the first volunteer. You decide. I'm being friendly today. If you want to volunteer yourself or you want me to volunteer you. We all have to do it anyhow. All right. And everybody, what I want is everybody paying attention. If Nidia is speaking, I want everybody paying attention to what Nidia is saying. All right. I mean, for example, right, just because we're practicing here how she speaks, if she made mistakes, sometimes when we get, when we get nervous, we're kind of like, oh, everything is kind of like, you know, we kind of forget things. Okay. So when Julia's time to read or to do the, her response, everybody's listening to Julia. All right. 
So if the idea is sharing and not kind of like feeling like you're being put on the spot, which you are, but don't see it that way. All right, okay. Is Freddy the only gentleman we have in class right now? I know Robert is, and Guillermo, ah. And Maribel, you're here already, ah, Freddy. Says, I go, Freddy, because I was gonna choose you right now. <laughs> All right, let's see. So no volunteers, I'll volunteer you guys. Yeah? All right, who just, who was, who was, you wanna do it, Maribel? Yeah. Excellent, Maribel. That's the spirit. Very good. All right. Very good. Okay, Maribel, I don't know. Did you listen to all the instructions? Oh, my think? God. No, I think, <laughs> I think that I have to, to read the, the, the screen. Ah, no, no, Maribel. Now you have to speak. Ah, uh, no, I don't know. Okay. All right. Let's I'm see. I'm sorry. That's okay, Maribel. I thought you were brave. Oh, my goodness. I said, my gosh, that's the spirit. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, Evelyn, are you there, Evelyn? Evelyn, I saw you. I don't know if she's gone. Eve? No, she's not here anymore. Everybody's running away from me. Oh no, Julia, are you ready? <laughs> ready, Julia? Yes. yes? Julia, yeah? Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, Julia, so I'm gonna show you the question, or I mean the passage, read it. I'll give you 45 seconds, okay? And then I'll stop the ticking, and then you do the listening, okay? And then you have, I'll give you 30 seconds, and then you prepare your response, and then you give me your response, okay? Yeah? All right, Julia? Okay, okay very good. Okay, don't worry about this. Okay, Julia, start reading, please, right now. You read it, and I'll time you, okay? I'll time you, don't worry about the ticking. I'm listening to the ticking on my head. Start reading right now. All right, Julia, now I want you to listen to the, uh, to the audio, okay? Okay. Three, the University of the Rockies is planning to make a change in the number of required courses in physical education. Read the president's quote taken from his interview with the reporter from the student newspaper. Begin reading now. Don't worry, you read already. Now listen to two students as they discuss the quote. What do you think about the university dropping its physical education requirement? I'm torn about it, really. In one way, it's true that students should take the responsibility of keeping fit. But how can we if money isn't put into the facilities? But the president didn't say anything about not putting money into the facilities. He said that the money that's saved from courses that'll no longer be taught would be put elsewhere. True, but I can't help but think some of our sports programs are going to be affected. This will only be the loss of some courses. So what are the programs? What programs are you concerned about? Well, the women's varsity soccer team, for one. They've worked hard to get any university support at all and are just getting the recognition they deserve. I hardly think that they'll be affected. Don't be so sure. Fewer classes will result in a cut in the number of instructors, and that can't help but affect the different programs that are run by those particular instructors. The woman expresses her opinion of what the president was quoted to have said to the reporter. State her opinion and explain the reasons she gives for holding that opinion. All right, start now. I'll give you 30 seconds, Julia. All 
All right, Julia, stop. All right. Okay. So Julia, I'm going to yes. give you, all right, hold on. I'm going to give you a minute. I'll tell you when to start. Okay, so based on what you said and based on the listening, I want you to talk to me for one hour stating her opinion and explaining the reasons she gives for holding that opinion. Start now. Okay. Right now. Yes, please. Okay. Um, I understood that she said to the men that no, not is necessary that university or college uh, pays course for physical condition mm -hmm. and that all per all, all people is uh, the responsibility of, of them mm -hmm. to to do that and the place of the college uh, can be can to can saving the money for other courses Okay. And improve the labs or another things and the people uh, take care for themselves. Okay. And maybe then the place uh, can do another things or condition for the uh, other departments in the university, I think. All right, okay, stop. Okay, I gave you a little bit more than a minute, all right? I gave you like about one minute and 15 seconds, all right? Because I wanted to finish listening to your uh, response. Okay, one thing, and this is for everybody, and that's why I want everybody to be here while everybody is like participating, it's because we make, like, we say things that we shouldn't say, all right? But we don't know, okay? So, for example, I'm not, I'm not putting you on the spot, Julia. First one, you're breaking the ice here, so that's okay. But when you give the response, do, you cannot say what I understand. All right? So okay. that, omit it. All right? That, that delete from everybody's head, from Freddie, from Nidia, from Maribel. You cannot say that because it's obvious that you understood something. So th when you are being tested on TOEFL, they don't want to hear you saying what I understand is because that gives the idea that you are hesitating about things, that you are not so sure about things, okay? Yeah? All right. Okay. So, uh, Julia, can you tell me in your own words, I know that the paragraph is there, can you, but don't read it. Can you tell me in your own words what the quote of the president said? Mm. Well, uh, uh, he said that it's important to to work in that, but the, the woman was disagreed with him. He was disagreeing. Okay. Yes. And can you tell me why she was disagreeing? Because she thinks that it's better to how do you say invertir? <laughs> invest, to invest? Yes. In other, to invest in other things. Okay. And the uh, people is better invest in themselves. Okay. About this topic. Topic. Okay, very okay. good. Okay. Julia, what I also want you to pay attention to is the use of gerunds and infinitives when you're speaking. Okay. Okay. All right, and something that is like interesting when we do this practice or when we do the recording of the of your uh, responses is that you you record yourselves, okay, and then you can listen to you again, and then you can listen to your own mistakes. So I said this really, all right. So it's like kind of like you know like you're self evaluating you, all right, because you kind of realize, oh no, I didn't realize I said that. Uh, right now you're not being recorded but on the platform when you send me your responses the idea is that you listen to yourself now the idea again here is is your first response okay not that you practice it and practice it and practice it all right you, you can do that later all right but the first response is the one that it is all right let's see uh, the topic here said the reality is the physical education courses are, are not considered to be essential by students themselves. 
who, res, uh, who recent having so many, who recent, sorry, having so many required courses when they want to concentrate on their major subjects. This requirement also seems like a, con, a continuation of high school requirements. We believe that students should take responsibility for their own physical condition. Money saved using the number of physical education courses offered will be useful in updating our science and computer labs, as well as going toward more acquisition for the library. Now, is the president saying, is he like in favor or against the physical, uh, what is it? The physical education courses. Guys, anybody here? Is he a, like agreeing or not really agreeing with those physical education courses? What do you guys think? Anybody? He's disagreeing. He's disagreeing. All right. I okay. I, yeah. I, I think, teacher, I think that the president it is an against against uh -huh. uh, uh, physical education. Right. Uh -huh. uh, uh, because uh, he said that the the students have to take responsibility. Right. Okay. Uh -huh, for All their right. opinion. Okay. Uh, I think the, uh, the president is disagree with the, the uh, how to reduce the the presupuesto. The budget. Yes, the budget. Uh -huh, the budget. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Very good. Let's see. Let's go on with the other one. Let's see. Uh, Julia, can you choose some of your uh, another a classmate of yours, please, Julia? Okay. We have guys. We have girls. We have everything here. Robert. All right, Robert, are you ready? Yes. Of course. Okay, Roberto, I'm going to give you 45 seconds, all right, uh, for you to read this passage, and then you're going to do the listening, all right, and then you have to concentrate on the question, all right? So in this case, it says state her opinion and explain the reasons she gives for holding that opinion. So you need to listen to her and tell me if she agrees or disagrees and why she agrees or disagrees, okay? Are you ready? Okay. All right, ready. hold on. Okay, I'll give you, it's starting right now. You have 45 seconds to read. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you still have like 10 seconds. Keep on reading. <laughs> Five seconds, four, three, two, one. All right, okay. So now I want you to listen. You're gonna first gonna listen to the guy saying and then he, he will tell you have, uh, you can begin reading now, which you already did, so ignore that part and then just kind of focus on when they start talking, okay? Four. Okay. The maintenance department has announced that the main classroom building will be undergoing some changes. Read the announcement about the renovation. You have 45 seconds to read the announcement. Begin reading now. Which you already did. Pay attention to the listening, we'll start short. Now listen to two students as they discuss the announcement. That'll be really great, won't it? All the classrooms will be high-tech. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe? I really like a professor to give a lecture with all sorts of neat computer slides to project on the screen, don't you? Well, yeah, when it works. But how often have you been excited about doing something special in a lab and the technology failed? Not that often. Uh, it does have to be maintained, though. And upgraded. Technology becomes obsolete very quickly. True. I've also seen a lot of student presentations using technology that were all showy with animation, but no content. It's a big expense, you know, for something that won't be used all that much. Why don't you think it'll be used? Well, first, lots of professors aren't high-tech minded and won't bother with learning how to use it. Besides, it's very time consuming to make a good computer presentation. The best professor I've had here, Dr. Rosa, doesn't even use an overhead projector. 
Yeah, well, she's kind of exceptional. The woman expresses her opinion of the announcement made by the university's maintenance department. State her opinion and explain the reasons she gives for holding that opinion. All right, Robert, I'm going to give you 30 seconds so you prepare your response, okay? Starting now. Okay, Robert, you may stop and I'll give you one minute, Robert, so you can give okay. us the response. <laughs> Remember that you need to state her opinion and explain the reasons she gives for holding that opinion. It's starting right now. You have one minute. Her opinion is that it's not that convenient to have a lot of technology uh, at the classrooms since, first of all, uh, students can start to use them but they will provide just like wonderful presentation without any content inside of them without content that it's going to add some value to the things that they try to explain or the things that they are trying to learn as well one of the other reasons that she has to be against this it's that and it's really true uh, not all the professors will be able to develop that high tech skills that they do need in order to uh, take advantage of, of all the equipment that they, they're just about to install on the, at the classrooms. So it's just kind of nonsense since they will need as well a lot of time to, pre to prepare a really good presentation instead of focusing on, on the things that they have to teach. Perfect. Instead of focusing on the main concepts or right. the subject itself. Okay, very good. Thank you, Robert. Very good. Again, I'll give you like a minute and, 20, and 10 seconds. All right. So that's okay. We're practicing. So that's very good. So as you notice, Robert, say, for example, as I understand or what I think, because it's not about what you think, it's about what you heard. All right. So he started talking about a, her opinion is blah 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 all right and he, she disagrees with the whole thing of the uh upgrading all the techie stuff because of he gave the reasons why because of the prof professors might not be like qualified to use this um equipment all right he said that and she mentioned that another reason that you could have mentioned and not only roberto but if you guys are like thinking about how to respond that that's what you should be doing although it's not your question but the idea is for you to be thinking about it, right? Is that it's also like uh, if technology can get obsolete very quickly, so it needs to be like be it needs to be upgraded all the time. It's also expensive and it's useless if they if they don't know how to use it. Okay, so all those things she mentioned, and that's why she disagrees with all the you know, on on the uh, improvement of the um, classrooms. All right, very good, Roberto. Well done. Thank you. All right, very good. Ara Roberto, can you choose someone else, please? We have I'll Astrid, Freddy. Maribel. Saida. All right, Maribel, my dear Maribel, are you ready, my friend? <laughs> of course, you are ready. No, please, easy. easy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, I always lost in that uh, exam. Oh my God. All right, yeah, it's okay. I, I think, we can I think, I think Robert is very bad with, with me. <laughs> <laughs> all right okay but you know what Maribel the whole week we're gonna be doing this exact same exercise so the idea is for you to feel like a little bit comfortable with it, comfortable. So don't worry about it okay and everybody's gonna help you here okay. okay so this is the one that you have all right so again Maribel you're gonna have 45 seconds to read it listening and then you prepare your response you may take notes all right and then you give me your response for one minute. Are you, are you ready, Maribel? You're going to start reading. Don't cheat, Maribel. No empiece a leer todavía. Don't cheat. All right. Start reading right now. Right now, Maribel. You read silently.
We're going to stop right now reading, okay? So now, Maribel, I want you to listen, all right? Yeah? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh start my God. Now read the passage about road management. You will have 45 seconds to read the passage. Begin reading now. All right. Now you're ready. Get ready for the listening. Now listen to part of a lecture in a civil engineering class. Okay, so we're all familiar with the road markings, signs, and signals cluttering up our cities. They are supposed to reduce accidents, make towns safer for all of us. Well, accidents still happen, but all these signs surely make accidents fewer. They tell road users where it's safe to be and when. Well, um, experiments have shown something very different. A Dutch traffic engineer named uh, Hans Monderman has turned this thinking on its head. Monderman removed the traffic signs, markings, and signals from a Dutch town. And uh, guess what? The number of traffic accidents has dropped significantly. In this town, there are no center lines separating lanes, no speed limit signs, uh, no stop signs, and, and even speed bumps have been removed. The thinking behind this radical change is that when drivers have no signs to guide them, they start looking at people and then they drive more carefully, more courteously. This public space makes drivers instinctively understand that cars and pedestrians are equal and drive with this in mind. Supporters of this scheme explain its success by arguing that road regulations give a false sense of security. Regulations also treat road users as irresponsible by continually controlling their behavior, telling them what they can and can't do. When the props supporting this regulation are removed, drivers are given back the responsibility for driving with consideration for other drivers and, and pedestrians, and, and then act accordingly. The professor describes an experimental system of road management. Explain how this experiment is related to road users' behavior. All right, 30 seconds to prepare. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Maribel, you may stop now. Okay, ready? Okay, okay. okay. I'll give you I'll I'll give you one minute right now, Maribel. Okay. Uh, uh, the teacher are are talking about the uh, uh, engineer class mm -hmm. about the about man um, uh, about road management uh, the the object is a change to reduce accident and is, uh, to have road or way more security uh, and uh, I, I don't understand too much but I, I think uh, he was talking about remove signs separate separation um, I think it's something about some something new. Uh, they 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 want they 
want to change the the form of the of the road. Uh, only that I, I think they have they want to control traffic speed and flow. Uh, that the the drivers drive drive more careful. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Maribel, thank you. Uh, again, I, gi I gave you a little bit more than a minute, all right? Now, Maribel, and this is not only for Maribel. Right now, Maribel is like, she was the one speaking, but it's not only for her, all right? Uh, remember that once you're speaking, don't say things like, I think, or no, don't, don't you dare say, I didn't understand. Don't say those things, all right? Although you didn't, but don't say it, okay? <laughs> because yeah, I know. <laughs> no, I know, Maribel, all right? So, uh, Again, you have to really understand, and this is again, not only for Maribel, this is like helping everybody. You have to really pay attention to the question, okay? So for example, in this case, it, say, it says, explain how this experience, okay, is related to the road user's behavior. This is not one, only gonna happen like this here on, in class, but also in the real life, like TOEFL test taking, all right? They're gonna make you read first, then listen, and the, as, after you listen to the little lecture or the little conversation, you will listen to all the question as well. So you need to pay attention to what they want you to talk about, okay? So in this case, Maribel, they want you to relate the experiment, okay? Because the professor said, or he was talking about an experiment going on, all right, on this town, mm -hmm. all right, that they removed the traffic signs, okay? And what mm -hmm. happened? when that occurred all right so you had to relate the experiment and to say okay so this is what happened with the experiment and how it relates to the driver's behavior or to the user's behavior all right so that's what we have to work on a little bit maribel okay but that's okay this is the first time so i mean you exercise on top of one but again with me this is the first time you do it all right so that's okay <laughs> very good don't worry about it julia and roberto and, and maribel you're doing great okay so Maribel, give me another student. It cannot be you, it cannot be Julia, it cannot be Robert. Freddy. <laughs> Freddy or Pico? Freddy, uh, are uh, you ready, uh, my uh, friend Freddy? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Freddy, ready? Okay. <laughs> you know how it works already, Freddy, okay? So here you go. This Six. is yours. All right. So you may begin reading right now, Freddy. Right now, okay. All right, Freddy, you may stop reading. Okay, so here I'm gonna play the, the listening. It says that you have to read it, but you already did. Seven, now read the passage about cultural perceptions of time. You will have 45 seconds to read the passage. Begin reading now. Now listen to part of a lecture in a cultural studies class. We were talking about monochronic and polychronic cultures last week, and I wanted to repeat some of the things we discussed. Remember that these are the extremes, and most cultures lie somewhere in between. We also discussed that there are monochronic individuals within polychronic cultures, and vice versa, polychronic ones within monochronic cultures. Now, one might think that a monochronic society is more efficient because monochronic individuals can make a linear plan, predict how long it will take, and follow through on it. They arrive on time, set deadlines that they need, and can be depended on to get the work done on time. 
But how often have you read in job advertisements that they're looking for someone who can multitask? So what does that mean? Someone who can do several things at once, right? And who can do that? A polychronic person. In essence, they are people who can step in and be moved around within a company. These are the people who become irreplaceable on the job because of their ability to juggle several tasks at the same time. Interestingly, while efficient polychronic people are appreciated at the workplace, they frequently don't move up the promotional ladder. Why? Because it isn't easy to replace a person who can multitask effectively. The professor describes the behavior of monochronic and polychronic people. Explain how their behavior is related to their suitability in the workplace. All right, 30 seconds to prepare right now. Start preparing. All right, Freddy, are you ready? All right, Freddy, you are ready to give me your response for one minute, please. To start now. Okay, the teacher is speaking about uh, two different kind of person. Uh, monochronic and polychronic. Well, uh, she mentions in monochronic person that is more effective because uh, that kind of person works in different activities in a company. And by the other hand, polychronic are the kind of person that are multitask in a company but um, <laughs> that, that kind of person uh, are a little more difficult to, uh, to change. Okay. okay. <laughs> Only that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Very good. Very short answer. All right. <laughs> Very I'm good. This is, that's okay. That's okay, Fred. That, 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 don't worry about it. Remember that this is the first practice. Uh, this is something that I wanted to point out. When you are given a minute, guys, it's a minute, okay? And it's yeah. not, I mean, I'm not putting Fred on the spot here. This is like, we're learning from everybody, okay? So it's a minute. So I, I know I have given most of you a little bit more than a minute because it's the first time and that's okay. But the thing is like, they have the timer with them, all right? So, and you see the, 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 the seconds running and it, when it goes off, it goes off. So if you're not done, you just kind of go quiet. It's like, oh, okay, I'm done, all right? Because otherwise they will tell you, okay, your time is up, thank you, all right? So that's how it works, okay? So, and if you're short, like, we look at you like, oh, you're, that's it. <laughs> All right, so make, that's why it's good to practice, okay? And we're practicing right now, and then you can practice on the platform. When you record your responses, make sure it's a minute. If you wanna practice it again, it's okay, guys. So make sure that you have to be precise and concise and coherent and clear and go to the point, okay? Usually it's a very good idea to start, for example, okay, so uh, the behavior of these people, blah, 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 okay? So it's like, or like Robert began by saying her opinion, all right, you go directly to the answer. You start responding with the answer, all right, kind of thing, okay? So uh, that gives the, uh, the person that is evaluating you that you're understanding what's going on and that you understood the question and that you're giving a related answer, all right? Yeah, very good. So don't worry about it, Freddie. Okay, uh, we have time for two more. I think uh, we're gonna two people but we can do tomorrow don't worry about it we have time all right freddy choose another one um, we have nidia we yeah. have saida we have astrid guillermo sorry guillermo <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, no problem all right guillermo all right ready guillermo 
Yeah? Uh, uh, yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, Hold on. Uh, there you go. This is this is yours, Guillermo. Okay. So I'll give you 45 oh. seconds so you read it. Okay. And then you listen and then you have 30 seconds to prepare and then one minute to respond. When I say prepare, please pre prepare. Okay. Not just kind of like, oh, whatever. Because it's always needed. Uh, All right. Start now. Okay. Okay. Uh, I help to read all no, the... No, only, only to you, silent reading. Oh, yeah. Um, now read the passage about uh, read, uh, reading. Yes. Uh, uh, reading. Uh, yeah, so uh, read, it, read you... it by yourself, Guillermo, okay? Just read it. I'll give you 45 seconds. Read it silently. Oh, yeah. Uh, the uh, right now yes i'm gonna give you 45 seconds you start right now 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 guillermo oh, okay uh, the retiring no read uh, it to yourself guillermo oh, don't read it to everybody just read it silently oh yeah uh, i'm sorry no that's okay i'm gonna give you uh, like again another 45 seconds okay so start now guillermo calladito usted lo lee solito a ver 45 segundos Guillermo, stop reading oh. right now. Okay, I'm gonna play the audio, Guillermo, okay? Cuando okay. Listen, okay. ahí empieza a escuchar. Okay, let's see. Where am I here? Oh. All right. Uh, okay. Eight. Now read the passage about weathering. You have 45 seconds to read the passage. Begin reading now. Now listen to part of a lecture on weathering in a geology class. When we examine rocks in terms of the weathering process, it's obvious that the climatic environments must also be taken into account. Think about the weather conditions in arid areas. In those areas, the frost at night expands along cracks in the rocks, and in the day, the rocks expand in the heat. This mechanical process of weathering due to the fluctuation between frost action and heat expansion is common. Now, in the tropical areas where rainfall is heavy, the chemical process is common. There's less mechanical weathering since the temperature remains high. In temperate climates, where we can see a warm summer with rainfall and a colder winter with frost, both chemical and mechanical weathering are common. What about the polar regions? Well, we are not going to see much weathering in terms of chemical processes since there's little rainfall. Neither will we see many mechanical or biological processes. The Arctic conditions allow very little weathering, in fact. Now, what about biological processes? The weathering caused by tree and plant roots wedging into the rocks animals burrowing into the ground, or um, the decay of dead organisms causing destructive acids? Well, plants and animals live in all areas. But again, because we see fewer plants and animals in areas of extreme climates, we see less biological weathering there. The professor describes climatic conditions. 
explain how these conditions relate to different weathering processes. All right, Guillermo, you have 30 seconds to prepare your answer starting The now. program continues on the next CD. You need to stop now. I'll give you one minute, Guillermo, so you can tell me, can you can tell us or explain how these conditions relate to different weathering, uh, weathering processes, all right? Can you start now? Uh, yes. Uh, um, so uh, I have to uh, say uh, three, uh, three, uh, right? Uh, three condition. All right, uh, as uh, the, the conditions that you listen to. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Guillermo, your time is ticking. Uh, oh yes, uh, yes, I'm sorry. Uh, well, uh, uh, fear condition uh, about the. Uh, about the the paragraphs uh, paragraphs is uh, to spray uh, uh, um, uh, well uh, uh, spray um, uh, what is it? Uh, Boy, uh, poisonous, uh -huh. poisonous uh, around uh, the plants. Uh, uh, well, uh, uh, is that right? Mm -hmm. Go on, go on. It's okay. Uh, okay. Um, the um, uh, the other. Um, uh, will be a uh, uh, um, uh, uh, smoking uh, in uh, is uh, in uh, smoking in in the park uh, mm -hmm. uh, will be uh, will be dangerous for some people uh, all right okay uh, okay guillermo we need to stop because i gave you uh, like a uh, more time but that's okay all right so this is not only for guillermo this is for everybody all right okay. i know that i'm um, keep in mind that these passages some of them as you notice are easier to understand than others okay this one in particular perhaps wasn't the easiest one all right but again it's a matter of luck just like you can get an easy one, you can get a tough one, all right? So the idea and why I mix the, let's say, easier and more difficult ones is to expose you to reality, all right? Because you never know what you're gonna get in store, all right? This is like a, a box of chocolates, all right? So the idea here is for you to practice. It's okay, Guillermo. Uh, sometimes they are very, like the vocabulary and everything, it's hard to understand, but this is why uh, we're here and we're helping you and everything. So. Uh, you need to make sure, and this is not for Guillermo, this is for everybody, you need to understand that you need to understand what you're reading, all right? Try your best to understand the listening also, and of course, which is even greater, you need to understand the question. If you don't understand the question, but you understood the reading and the listening, but not the question, it's like you didn't understand anything, all right? So the question is the key here. So what, what oh, I okay. to do, and this is not only for you, Guillermo, this is for everybody, is once you hit the question, and then I'll give you 30 seconds to prepare, kind of based around your preparation, that question on getting the details that you listen to, all right? Uh, we're going to stop right here because I'm already oh, okay. in the other class. 
What I want for Nidia, who else did not had a chance to participate? Nidia, Saida, and Astrid, right? Yeah. All right. So oh, Nidia, yeah. Saida, and Astrid. This is I'm gonna like assign it for homework because I do wanna like I want you to participate. So what I want you to do, if you have time tonight, you may choose one of the. We have five questions here. I'm gonna send the PPT while I'm teaching the other class. I'm gonna uh, send the PPT. Choose one of the questions. The audios are there. I do the same process. 45 seconds to read, 30 to prepare. I mean, do the listening, then 30 to uh, prepare, and then one minute to record your answer and send it to me. You may send it on a voice note, not necessarily on Vocaroo, just a voice note. If you can do it tonight or tomorrow morning, so I can help you out a little bit, all right? Ever question. The homework is only for Nidia, for Saida, and for Astrid, okay? Okay. okay. Uh, just, uh, I'm gonna send the presentation while I'm teaching the other class, so it's gonna take a little bit to upload, but it's gonna be there, all right? Thank you so okay. much, guys. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you. Thank you, Bye. 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 Good night. Good night.